one owner car guy here and what I got for you today is a beautiful one owner 1994 in the Fleetwood Brome you know I don't know what they did in these years in the late 90s or early 90s they they really went from a Fleetwood to a Brome and they went back called it a Brome de Elegance and this is the one you want how's that it's the big body with the 350 and the 5.7 liter block there this is the one not got that North Star I used to do a lot of North Stars back in the day when they were newer uh, mid 90's late 90's until we realized that every single one of them would have head gasket problems even at 20 30 thousand miles but great great cars with the 350 here no North Star this should be the title no North Star of this video but it's not just Fleetwood Brome the big body my website MissoulaAutoAuction.com I'm trying to get my one owner car guy linked in there to where you can just go there also www.serialmarshmallows.com you can click on the blog to see a lot of my cars but man I just do lots of one and two owner clean classic cars low miles this one's got 110 or so I'm gonna check it out when I get inside I'll show you um, also I've got a maroon one in a 95 model with the 350 coming up in about a week it has the ox blood red interior. It's an absolutely beautiful car. Don't know which one is the favorite. Can't have a favorite doing what I do. I really can't. Beautiful car. The paint is in great shape. You got this chrome tape that even though there's a lot of chrome, it's not real chrome. And it kind of gives away right there. Can't see it from a little ways off, but up close you can see the indentions there. Light, light chippage that you probably can't see. Small, small scratch. <coughs> And, man, just looking at it, there's a ding right there. Ding right there. And I used to do the paintless ding removals. I don't do those guys anymore. A few little chips. Um, sometimes they come back. And little chips right there. You can hardly see them, but they are there. Um, I just don't want them to come back, and you wonder, oh, where the heck are all these ch uh, dings coming from? Um... So I don't do that. You're more than welcome to. And 70 to 95% of them usually stay off the car. But I just don't do that anymore. A couple little marks on that piece. Same on that. Rubbed on something coming around the corner probably. Just lightly though. Oh, the little back cap is missing on this piece. And I'm a little thorough. I, I try to show you everything I can on these. A little smudge right there. Well, a scrape type smudge with a little chip out of that piece. It's kind of chipped. Wheels are beautiful. <clears throat> um, steel belted. Enterprise. 235 70R15. Wheel wells? Oh my. I and mean, we're talking like new. Whoever had this took care of it. Let me get under here. Show you the tranny pan. And the motor. I had somebody ask me yesterday how they were not sure how to buy online and all this. Felt uncomfortable and even more uncomfortable on Craigslist than eBay and such. And Try and get the dealer down the street to show you underneath the car. and Try and get the dealer in the, in the, down the street to admit where the dings are and point out everything. It's just not going to happen. Same thing on the tape right here. You're going to get a lot more thorough of an inspection <clears throat> coming through me. I, 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 I give a good, I try to show everything. I want you to see what's wrong with the car. And a lot of people just ain't going to show this kind of stuff. Same thing on the tape right here. Little stress marks right on that. And I don't even know if you can see, there you go. Maybe if I got out of the way. Little mark there. Going down the car, side of the car, it's straight. I love all the chrome on the bottom of these. Nice set of tires. Plenty of tread. Big, huge tank on these bad boys. And these things get mid-twenties on the highway. I mean, it's just all the luxury. They still got titties on the side. I'd rate them at... God, look at all the titties on the side. They gotta be 90, 95%. Beautiful car. Big body. Big body. 
Make sure and check out my other channel, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'm uploading one minute, two minute ones of the cars, and there'll be some special videos on there too. And I'm gonna have about three channels that are putting stuff, light stress marks right there, very light. That's a water run. Little scuff right there. Tape's good on that one. Teeny bit right there. And a little mark right there. That's a little piece of rubber. And a little scratch. A little scratch, a little scratch. A little bit of a bigger scratch. And that's it. No serious body damage. Not all rusty. This is a beautiful car. There should be a little chips right there. You can hope you can see. Ooh, the stop sign was focused on. There you go. Just tiny. And you can't pick them out from a ways away. They're that five feet away, you don't see stuff, but I want you to see what you're getting here. Nathan, 406 544 6919. And like I say, make sure and subscribe to my channel. We're giving away a car. Um, free car. You gotta be subscribed to Cereal Marshmallows. Gotta be subscribed to One Owner Car Guy on YouTube. And the same on Facebook. You have to like the pages. From there, all the details are going to be posted here at the end of the uh, beginning of September. And um, you'll see what it takes. It's going to be a great contest. I think I showed you a little ding there and there. But I want to make sure. <clears throat> Small tear in that piece of rubber. Okay. You know, I'm going to do the interior before I go anywhere because it's just no sun on it right now at this time of day. Beautiful door panels in great shape. Couple little marks right there. Um, carpeting's in great shape. Factory matting. The only thing on the pedal is my dusty foot mark. Seats, nice and plush leather in great shape. A um, couple little marks on it, not all torn up anywhere. A little bit of crease over, as I like to call it, on this, like a couple places just from sitting on it. And that piece right there was patched. Brand new piece of leather in there. Um, you can tell, you really can't tell, but if you really look, you can see a slight difference of color. Great shape. Headliner, great shape. I'm gonna grab this stuff out of here. And I'll hop in the back seat to show you the front seat. Okay. Right. We might not close the door all the way because I got child locked in the last one of these I did. Back seats doesn't even look like it's been set in. Door panels, great condition. Backs of them seats, beautiful. I'm gonna grab the keys here, pop the trunk. Now also, if anybody you know is thinking about getting a haircut, I pay 50 bucks right now. I'm donating my, I've been growing my hair out for almost two years to donate to Locks of Love or Pantene. And I'm gonna get that off my head here in about a month. So if anybody wants to donate with me, been thinking of a haircut that has eight inches of hair minimum, um, let me know and I'll pay 50 bucks and you likely get a free haircut out of wherever you're usually get a haircut they like they like doing that kind of stuff um, flip this over stack of receipts on this thing like you wouldn't believe all kinds of stuff been repaired all kinds of stuff done at the Cadillac dealership and that was for nine hundred and twenty two dollars um, what do you do radiator thermostat I mean, the receipts go on and on. There's some registration in there. This one's for turn flashers. I mean, he took it in for everything, as you can see. Two forty-two alarm goes off. All vehicle, this and that. So he definitely two thirty-nine rear window off track. Inspect one sixty. Perform alignment. 
I mean, just regular maintenance and such done at the dealership where you buy it. Amazing. It's expensive to, to do that kind of stuff at the dealership. It's hard for me to get this back in there now. So there we go. Um, you've got all your owner's manuals. Pretty cool. I'm going to leave that back here for now. Hope I didn't just lock the keys in there. Uh-oh. No, oh, I got them. <laughs> more views of the back seat. I'll give you a little bit more of a headliner. Great shape. Oh, your lighting and everything works. And over here, I was thinking about getting the owner's manual out, but I've already done it. Oh, glad I seen that. I didn't see that before. If you're looking for a clean, one owner, well-maintained car, this is it. <clears throat> On some of the amenities and stuff, all your seats work. in all the directions, um, including the back one. I mean, it's just not got, oh, this, sometimes that thing's a little loose and you gotta push it over good and proper to get it to stay sometimes. That's the only thing, and I rode in the passenger seat a couple times and it's been a hundred out here. So that's why I noticed it. But that is about all on this beautiful car for the interior amenities. I'm gonna go ahead and show you under the hood while we're up here. Um, and then we'll go on our test drive. A little backwards from what I usually do, but just the timing at night is making it possible to do it in the same place. And actually, I think I can do better showing the whole car at one time. We'll see. When I get done, I always forget something. And dang, I wish I'd done that. Hood matting is in great shape. Lighting works and all up there. Factory aluminum water pump on the front of these bad boys. This is the one you want. Um... When you think Cadillac, if you're buying in the 90s, this is what you want. I'd take this over any 2004, 2003 DeVille, DTS, any of that junk. You can keep it. Give me a stinking 350 like this and a little aluminum intake. I mean, like I say, I, I try to do as in-depth on these things as I can. And on a one-owner thing, sometimes the things I notice that are just great about them, Interstate battery. The dude didn't go to Walmart and just get the cheapest thing. Although, nothing wrong with Walmart battery. They, they back it with the great warranty, which makes it neat. But older people that have owned cars a long time usually buy the AC Delco or an Interstate or some kind of more nationally branded batteries. Probably upkeep their cars better. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Beautiful Fleetwood Brome um, leather, one owner. I'll tell you the miles right now 110 or so. <clears throat> www.missoulaautoauction.com. Also, www.oneownercarguy.com. And make sure and like me and subscribe me. Big old, big old, I think I showed you that thing. Big old giveaway coming up. Okay, here we go. I love these cars. Let me get this tied around my hand here for a second. Let me try that again from a different angle for you. Like this one. Here's your mileage. What is it? 122. AC is cold. <clears throat> Radio is good. Balance is off there. Where you can tell it's everywhere. So that all works. Cup holders and all. Look at this. We gotta. How do we get that open? Huh. That comes up. There we go. A little bit of gluey foam stuff on that I wanted to show you. And it may pop right off. I haven't messed with it much. 
you know what it is? They glued it back together, I can see there. And so I'm sure that guy could clean that up. And my people just didn't do that. Nice, cushy leather everywhere. Man, it's a great car. Oh, wow. What do we got here? Are these Ray-Bans or something? Are they prescription? What's the deal? Nope. Sorry, had to check out these glasses here. Uh-oh. That light is not working. Could be a fuse. Oh, well, there we go. That one does. This one is not coming on. Fuse or bulb related, I'm sure. Twilight Sentinel on your lights, where you can make them come off and come on in the day whenever you want them. Okay, I'm gonna turn the AC down. I'm sorry if it's been on a little loud or something while I was talking there. <laughs> We're talking right now, power. That's all there is to it, man. I don't know if these things had more power than a North Star, less power. Um, all I know is I love the way a 350 runs. I don't care how big of a body of a car. Corvette power. Sure seems it, you know. Guy forgets he's driving a what 55, 6,000 pound car? A big old car. And turn this thing I'm telling you too, it turns on time. Look, turn a little tighter, it don't even take I can come back in the wrong lane if I want to. Upshifts, downshifts beautifully. Questions, Nathan, 406-544. 6919. You can reach me anytime. And yeah, I'm gonna go up the hill here. Show you a different angle of it. And one owner cars, check out my channel, subscribe. One owner Yukon, Blazer, uh, Tahoe right there. Oh, one owner Mercedes 420 behind it if you can see it. My dad's truck, not for sale. One owner backhoe. One owner PT Cruiser with all kinds of mods. I got a video of that on the other channel already. Chevette, that's a one owner car. We just painted it for a guy. Let me get this thing turned off and get out of here. Oh, the key fobs. You got all the key fobs. The writing's wore off, but that doesn't change the workability. Trunk, it all works. Check out the websites, MissoulaAutoAuction.com, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, got dot, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and www.CerealMarshmallows.com. Kids, grandkids, love you. Marshmallows, best dehydrated little marshmallows around. This car is beautiful. I hope the light here showed it off at a good pace. Uh, it's hard to know what color to do at what time of day, but it sure is a beautiful car. It's a one owner, 122 on the ticker. And it just looks great. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Thanks for watching. We'll help you export this thing anywhere. We'll import it right to you. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are.